Coach Andrew, thank you very much for your time. Uh, hard fought, one one draw at home. Uh, how did you see the game? Yeah, it's football. Um, the game was good, a game of two halves. That's all I can say. They came at us, we came at them. And then again, created a lot of chances. But again, story of another day. Couldn't score, we didn't convert any chance. Only scored one out of ten chances that we created. Uh, coach, you, you speak of something I also noticed. In the second half, you created a lot of chances, but you struggled to put a ball in the back of the net. What do you think is the problem? Uh, uh, I don't think we have, a, we have a problem. I think it's one of those days, because we do these things at training week in, week out. Last week, we scored six. Today, we only scored one. We just need to be consistent. That's all. Uh, you, you build up from the back uh, and work your way into their half. Uh, you do that very well, and we were able, especially in the second half, we were able to dominate. Uh, but the final third is either the final pass lets you down, or the finishing uh, lets you down. It's something that uh, is of concern. Is it something that is of concern to you, and how do you plan to address it? Yeah, it is a concern to us because remember, if we want to win the league, because that's the mandate of uh, of the season, we want to win the league and go to APC. When they get to the third half, they must be composed, you know. So one of those things, they must be composed and check whatever they're doing, whether it's the final pass or you put the ball in the back of the net, you must always be uh, in, a, in a good space and then you must also be comfortable. Uh, to, to win the league, like you say, I think that it will be very important to win your home games. Uh, you've just drawn this game, uh, a game you could have won, especially in the second half. Uh, going forward, what do you plan to do to, to ensure that at home you take maximum points? Yeah, remember for us, a draw is a lose, especially at home. Even when we go out, we need maximum points. But uh, we go back to training, it's a learning curve. Remember, it's not how you start, it's about how you finish. But sometimes how you start is very important. Coach Andrew, thank you very much for your time and good luck for your next game. Thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. Coach Tuso. One one draw here away from home. Uh, is it good enough for you? Uh, I'm 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 not happy with the results because I think we we had an opportunity to to steal the maximum points, but unfortunately, you know we were very naive to concede a set piece at a very dangerous area at a very crucial phase of the game. But these are young boys. Uh, they will learn. They 16, 17, 18. They will learn. They will learn. It's it's part of the game. It's part of their development. Uh, it was a game of two halves. In the first half, you dominated. Uh, you played very good football. At some point, the home crowd was <laughs> seemed to be supporting you. They were cheering with every move you were making. But in the second half, they came back strong, dominated. Uh, you struggled to come out of your own half. And when you did come out, there seemed to be a very big gap between the defence and, and, and the front three. Uh, what really happened? How did you view? What is your own view? Yeah, I think you are right. It was a game of two halves. Uh, but, but we kind of like expected the profile of the game to turn out the way it did. Because second half, we know they were one goal down. They had to come to us. So we, we had to absorb the pressure and make sure that when we come out, we come out clean. But unfortunately, we lost... Uh, passes it at the very crucial uh, phases of our offense and had we got those some of those passes correct I think we could have maybe got a goal or, or two but unfortunately I, I think you saw Tiro was a bit off today and he was the one who was supposed to take us out uh, during the transitions uh, like I said earlier the home crowds uh, were cheering for you uh, briefly, uh, Coach Tuso, what is your philosophy with these young boys? How do you try to play uh, and what do you, in terms of, of your play, how in detail, how, how, how do you go about it? Uh, we are a very position-based uh, type of a, of a team. We, we have very good technical sound players who can, who can, who can, who can control the ball so well. So we, we, we have to make sure that we maximize uh, their potential by, by, by focusing on, on their characteristics and making sure that we, we maximize their potential. So we are a, a, a position-based team, and, but we also try to add a, a little bit element of, 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 of technical awareness, tactical awareness, in moments where we, we have to transition at a very uh, quick speed. So they have to know which moment of the game they have to 
control the ball and which moment of the game they have to to come out at the very quick uh, transitions. So, so we, that's, those are some of the things that we're trying to teach them at a very young age. Uh, first two, so you, you mentioned that you have a, a very young team here. Uh, the rules of the league allow that you can play five under 21 players and the rest can be over 21. And most of most teams uh, utilize that to get more experienced players so that they can compete. But with your team, uh, uh, maybe it's the opposite. All your players are under the age of it's 21. The, 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 the oldest player is 19 years old. Uh, this is the team that won promotion last season with the very same group of the 17 and 18 year olds. So we, we want to have continuation. I think we have about four year or five year plan with these boys. The target is to make sure that by 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 the next five years we push them to get to to the Glad African uh, Championship with the very same group. If we can manage to keep the core of the team, uh, coach, don't you think perhaps that uh, you have this young group? Obviously, they are developing, but in most games they are likely to come against uh, uh, experienced older teams. experienced players. Does it, is that a disadvantage to you or for you it's, it's not just about winning the league now but to develop these players for the future? Hence, hence I was saying to you we have about five year plan with these boys. Uh, we want to compete, that I can tell you now. We want to compete and we want to win every game that we play. We, 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 we don't want to sugarcoat things and say no, 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 uh, they are still young. They, have, they, they know that they have to compete and they have to win each and every game we play. If you can check, the approach is the same. Whether we're playing home or away, we approach the game the same. They know the mentality is for them to win, nothing else. We accept nothing else but maximum performance. Coach Tuso, thank you very much for your time, my brother, and good luck with the All right, thanks a lot, my brother.